much for joining me in the gazebo. Oh, I'm my so pleasure. happy to have you here. I'm happy to be you've here. Been, Thank you for asking me. Yes, you've been someone that's been on the top of our list that we've wanted to talk oh, to. Well, that's nice. You've got an interesting story, interesting life. You've got just the sweetest heart. Oh. And I am so excited for other people to experience that as well. Thank you. So with Gazebo Chat, our goal is to learn something and to laugh about something. Okay. So kind of keep that in the back of your mind as we're talking and then maybe reference those things as we go through. Okay. First, I want to start with kind of hearing about your story about the credit union. You've been here for a while. And so I'd love to know when you started, how long you've been here, what you do, what you've done, kind of your career. Well, I started out, I actually was finishing up at Weber State and I was working at Sears oh. in the catalog department. And it was a great job because you could do your homework at night. And Kent Cragen, who retired a few years ago, uh, he had worked with my husband. Okay. And he said she should walk over to Federal Employees Credit Union. They're looking, they're looking for someone in the loan department. So it was an interesting experience. I was interviewed by Hilda Nakaishi, Jim Dawson, and Brent Allen. All three of them came in and interviewed. Oh, wow. But I, you know, I think I knew from the very beginning when I started working that it was home for me. Okay. That I would be a long timer. I love the aspect of being able to help people. I was thinking about a story this morning. When you are a loan officer, you build a, almost like a clientele. And yes. people will follow you yes. as you move around to other branches. And there was an, an older woman that I had helped turn her husband, and the husband called me, and if I, I'm gonna try really hard not to cry because this still is, just really impacts me, but he called me and he said, I know that you're a notary and Louise is dying. Oh my goodness. Could you come up to the hospital and notarize her signature? And I said, I'll be, I'm leaving right now, I'll be there. And when I got up there, she thanked me for helping them through all these years. Wow. And I thought, you know, that's what it's all about. That is what it's all about. We got our, got our paperwork notarized and it was some transfers on some property that they had. And she passed away the week after. Oh my goodness. But I thought every day, I don't care where you work, every day you make an impact on somebody's life. And I don't know how that it gets any better than that. Oh, that's amazing. So I started out in the loan department at 36th and Main. That was where I started. And then I went out to the branches. So I worked in the West area. Okay. Learned to love the military. Which is on base. Yes, on yes. base. And then I ended up being the branch manager in the East area branch. Which is also on base. Also on base. <laughs> opposite sides of the base, uh, right? Totally opposite sides okay. of the base. But I learned to love that military. And oh. I've carried that love. and and gratefully so, because I'm still really, really active out on the base. I left for a while, and I came back and I worked in employee lending. Okay. Then I got into training, Okay. and then I was over at marketing, and then I have this job. You've done a lot. I have done a lot, and I think <laughs> I've, um, I've been lucky to be able to see a lot of different areas, different things that the credit union does. So right now, I'm the vice president over governmental and community relations, which also includes military. Okay. So I work which as an passion. advocate. It is. I work as an advocate to make sure that our base offices are secure. I've got to know five-star generals wow. um, I, as a lobbyist, and that's my primary job as being in-house lobbyist for America First. Uh, it, it's an interesting situation with the military. They can't ask anything. They can only report. Oh, okay. So it's um, it, it's kind of like all my worlds collided together in this one great big. Oh, yeah. I have this, and it's great. I love it. So would you say of all the things you've done over all of the years, is what you're doing now your favorite? Yeah. For sure. Yeah, it's my passion. For sure. That's yeah, so politics interesting. Yeah, politics is... is uh, it's not for everybody, and certainly being a lobbyist is not for everybody. Sure. But I think if I can defend the credit union and I can educate legislators both on a state and a federal level, that our business model is different than bankers. Oh yeah, it's, for uh, sure. It's a challenge, but it's the most rewarding job I think I've ever had. You've done so many cool things here at the credit union. Yeah. What about life outside of the credit union? What do you? Oh my what gosh. What are you passionate about outside of work? What do you love to do in your you spare know, time? You know, I have found that being involved in community relations, I never have to look very hard to find some kind of a community uh, volunteer job. Oh. I am right now, currently, I am the chair elect for the McKay D. Layton Hospital Board of Trustees. Okay. I've also heard that you have a heart for animals. Oh, geez. <laughs> yeah. We had a pet hospital for years when At I was growing up. Oh, yeah. Definitely. Oh, yeah. You're taking them we all in. We had boxes all over with baby birds in different stages of, it had fallen out of the tree or, yeah. I've oh, tried to do CPR with hamsters. Um, I haven't had to do a horse, but I've done hamsters and squirrels. <laughs> 
my yeah. goodness. <laughs> so so <how> successful. Many... <laughs> Some birds work. Wow. But, yeah. So how many pets do you have? Do you have a lot of pets? Uh, I currently only have three. Oh, yeah, that I have surprises a dog me a little that's a bit. rescue. Okay. And I have a 21 year old cat. Okay. And then I have a cat that's just an absolute, uh, she is a diva. Oh my goodness. And she rules the roost and she thinks she rules everything. Well, I have a series of rapid fire questions okay. for you. Rapid fire, are you familiar? Mm, kind of. So I'm going to ask you, first thing that comes to mind. Oh, just okay. top of mind, first thing okay. that comes to mind, I, that's what the answer I want. Okay. Is a hot dog a sandwich? No. <laughs> I would say no too. <laughs> <laughs> Do you prefer Lord of the Rings or Star Wars? Oh, Lord of the Rings. Oh, ooh, same. Okay. Yeah. And then last question. If you were a ghost, where would you like to haunt? Oh, definitely in the Union Station. Here in Ogden? Oh, yeah, because it's already haunted. There'd be a lot of people there to oh, go yeah. see. Oh, yeah. So fun. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. Oh, it was my fun pleasure. Like, learning thank more you for asking you. me. And, yeah, we really have enjoyed our time together. And so I appreciate it. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you.